Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to be looking at Reboot Computer. Uh, this is going to be covering the restoring of the operating system and recovering lost data and files. I want to draw your attention to this website down here, rebootcomputer.org. At this website, uh, you'll find some additional information that you might find helpful. So let's get started. Reboot Computer. Uh, the hard drive uh, has ones and zeros stored on it. Uh, the hard drive has a tendency to get uh, corrupted, uh, infected, and uh, there's other issues. Uh, we're going to be discussing uh, some of those as we progress through this. Uh, learning objectives. We're going to learn how to reboot a computer to safe mode uh, by pressing the F8 uh, during startup. We're going to learn how to reboot the computer to factory settings uh, by pressing F12 or using a restore CD. You're also going to learn how to reboot the computer to optimum configuration uh, that has all the installed programs, all your security uh, service packs and updates, and it also doesn't delete your files. You're going to learn how to quickly and easily recover data and files using a Linux Live CD. So you're going to be covering uh, several things. Uh, reboot your computer. We're going to reboot the computer to safe mode by pressing F8 uh, during the computer startup. Uh, here's a screen. If you press F8 during startup, you'll come up to this menu. Uh, one of the selections here will, will be start uh, Windows normally. But up here at the top, you'll notice you have a safe mode. The safe mode is what we want to go into. This allows us uh, to go in and remove drivers that might be a problem. If you're installing a video card, and uh, you start your computer up and you have a black screen, uh, you're going to have a problem running your computer. So what you need to do is go back in uh, to your uh, F or pressing your F8 going into the safe uh, menu and you'll be able to go into what's called a safe mode. And you can see here, this is the safe mode. We have uh, windows starting up and on each corner you can see that it's a safe mode. Now this allows you to go in and remove uh, the driver that's causing the problems. And what you do is you go into D Device Manager, uh, find the piece of hardware where you have the problem driver. In this case, it'd probably be the video card. And just remove uh, that uh, driver and then go ahead and restart Windows. And you'll start in a uh, 640 uh, by 480. And then you can go ahead and reinstall the appropriate driver. And this is one way of rebooting the computer. Uh, reboot to computer uh, to factory settings by pressing F12. If you have an IBM laptop, uh, they've built into most of their laptops a recovery uh, feature by pressing F12 during startup. Now, some other computers do have other features uh, where they'll have a hidden partition on their hard drive, and then we can use that uh, with an image to restore the computer. Uh, most computers today do come with a restore CD so that you can reboot the computer to the CD-ROM and install the image problem uh, with restoring your computer with an image is you lose all of your files, all of your important files, because they're stored in the Windows uh, partition, and the image uh, completely overwrites everything on the hard drive. So that becomes a problem. Uh, next, uh, rebooting the computer to an optimum configuration. That's all of your installed programs, security updates, and this does not delete any saved files. Uh, this can save you a lot of time, and there are several programs uh, that allow you to do this. Uh, first of all, uh, we have Norton Ghost. This is one I like to use because it will operate in a DOS environment. So I can install this either onto a uh, bootable CD or even put it into a bootable flash drive. And then I use this image that's on either the CD, DVD, or flash drive to go ahead and restore the computer very quickly. Now, the image is created after I install Windows and after I do all my updates, security updates, after I install all the programs that I'm going to use, and I get this configured uh, to where it's a very usable configuration for my day-to-day -day routines. Then I go ahead and back this up or create an image of it and store it either on a DVD, um, flash drive, or even sometimes I'll put it into a second partition on the hard drive. And then if I have any difficulties, infections, corruptions, or whatever, I can use this image to quickly uh, restore uh, my operating system and be completely functional again. I use this procedure in a lab where I have over 35 computers, and I have students that have complete uh, administrative rights over the computers. 
And then each morning I come in and I just restore all the computers so that they have a fresh configuration in which to work with. This saves a tremendous amount of time. Uh, where I'd, if I'd had to do this individually, I just wouldn't have the time to be able to do it. But by having the image on there, I can restore 35 computers in less than 15 minutes. Another good program is the Acronis uh, True Image software. It will image and uh, restore uh, a computer using an image. Another one I like is called Part Image. This is open source. It's a free program. It's kind of a clone of Norton Ghost, and it works very fast and very well. Uh, reboot computer using the Linux Live CD. Now this I, I really like using if I need to recover files or data quickly off a computer that's non-functional. If for some reason the computer does not uh, want to start up because Windows is either corrupted or infected and just refuses to start, you can boot the computer with a live Linux uh, CD. And there are several uh, distributions of the Linux Live. Uh, Ubuntu is a very popular one, very user-friendly. The one I like even better is Slax. Uh, Slax is configurable. You can remaster it and you can put in other programs or utilities of your choice. And a lot of the utilities I like to use with Slacks might be uh, uh, Wireshark uh, for analyzing data packets in a network. Another one might be Nmap that will also allow me to uh, analyze uh, different hardware components in a network. So Slacks is very configurable and it is a really nice program to use. You can use it once, once you get the computer booted up uh, to a live CD and all you need to do is put it in the CD-ROM. Change your BIOS so that the computer boots the CD-ROM first, not the hard drive. And then once Linux is running, you can find the files on your hard drive and just simply copy them over either to a flash, uh, USB flash drive or any other external device. You can even burn them onto a CD-ROM or DVD if you needed to, or even access the network and just copy them onto a share on the network. A little picture of the Penguin. Uh, uh, very, again, Linux is a very, uh, Fairly user-friendly uh, operating system, very reliable, and uh, can save you a lot of time. Uh, in review, uh, reboot uh, to safe mode using F8. Uh, that's always very, very handy in case you have a driver or some other problem that's keeping you from uh, starting the computer properly. F8 is a good way to go at safe mode, and then you can remove that driver. Uh, second was uh, to reboot to factory settings uh, with either restore CD or if there is some uh, key uh, that you can press uh, to retrieve this off a stored image on the hard drive, then this is another another good way of doing it. Only problem is you lose all of your files that you have stored on a hard drive because it completely erases everything and gives you a fresh new copy. You don't have any of your uh, normal installed programs or any of your stored files. So sometimes that's not the best solution. Another one is to reboot uh, to optimum configuration using the image software. Again, Norton Ghost is a very popular one I like to use. Also part image. Uh, rebooting using the Linux Live CD. Uh, that is a lifesaver if you need to pull files quickly off a hard drive. Uh, might be a report that is due or maybe you have a presentation and your computer stopped working. You can pop in that Linux Live CD, quickly access the hard drive, and then just copy those files over to a flash drive or any other external device connected to the computer. Activities. i got several activities. Uh, since this is a class that I'm uh, running, I want you to reboot the computer uh, with the first lab into safe mode and so that you can see how we can use safe mode to remove a driver that's causing a problem. Also, rebooting, rebooting the computer using a restore CD. We're going to have some restore CDs that you can use uh, so that you can see how that procedure works. Also, reboot the uh, computer using imaging software. We're going to actually create images uh, using NART Ghost, uh, part image, and then re-imaging the computer with that. And then last, we're going to reboot the, the computer using a Linux Live CD, show you how we can quickly uh, recover files and also scan for viruses and do a few other things that you can that uh, will be very useful. Well, that's it for now. Uh, thank you very much for your time. And again, uh, this RebootComputer.org uh, is a website where we're putting together a lot of additional information that you might find useful. Thank you very much for your time.